Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky. It's December, and the 2024 Geminid meteor shower, one of the year's best showers, will peak around December 13th. However, an almost full moon will compete with the Geminids in 2024. Luckily, a lot of Geminid meteors are bright. The Geminids are plentiful under a dark sky, and you might catch up to 120 meteors per hour. They're also visible, but at lower rates from the southern hemisphere. The radiant, the point in the sky from which the meteors seem to originate, rises in the mid-evening and is highest in the sky at 2 a.m., so you can even watch for meteors before bedtime. Plus, in the early evening, when the constellation Gemini sets close to the eastern horizon, you might catch an earth grazer, a slow-moving, long-lasting meteor that travels horizontally across the sky. Most meteor showers originate from debris left behind in space by a comet as it orbits the sun, but the geminid meteors originate from debris left behind by an asteroid called 3200 Phaethon. After the geminids come the ursids. The best time to view them is a few hours before sunrise, blocking out the last quarter moon on the morning of December 22nd. Under ideal conditions, the ursids offer about 5 to 10 meteors per hour. Occasionally, the ursids have an outburst of over 100 meteors per hour, so it's always worth bundling up to watch them on a cold December night. Ursid meteors radiate from near the bowl of the far northern Little Dipper, so the shower's radiant point stays up all night from many northerly locations. Then start off 2025 with the quadranted meteor shower. Watch late at night on January 2nd through dawn on the morning of January 3rd. They're around the time of a new moon, so the moon won't interfere. The quadrantid's radiant rises after midnight. It's highest in the sky before dawn. The radiant is near the famous Big Dipper, so it's also a far northern meteor shower. Under ideal conditions, the quadrantids can briefly produce over 100 meteors per hour, but their peak lasts only a few hours. A waxing crescent moon that day means you'll have a moon-free sky. Tips for watching meteor showers. Find a dark spot to observe. Scan the entire sky. No need to watch the radiant. If the moon is out, block it with a tree, car, or building. Take a blanket, lawn chair, warm drink, and snacks. Put away electronics to save your night vision. Relax and enjoy the show.